you this special AM 1450 live sports broadcast. Baseline drive, left hander off the glass, and it rolls in and out again. I can't tell you how many times that ball has rolled inside the rim and rolled right back out. I think there's like some magnetic flux in the universe going on. It's at least the third or fourth time that's happened this game. Yeah. It's, it's pretty funny. Going to the basket, wild shot. He had Genus, who's now yelling at him, coming down the court. Meanwhile, the Bears come the other way. Colin Schley with an amazing run. Dylan Bernie up and scores. So if I'm a defender, I take an extra step back from him to give myself more time to recover and just dare him to keep shooting. Win and play on, lose and go home. Fourth quarter, playoffs. Gut check time for both teams. Let's see who's got the guts. Tell you that. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Catoctin High School, home of the Cougars. We've got some exciting Tuesday night boys basketball here for you coming up in just a few minutes. My name is Michael Betteridge. I'll be doing your play-by-play. -play. Joined here at courtside with Coach Brian Burdett and Tyler Wilhelm up top with our videography. Coach, how's it look out there? I'll tell you what, this is a big rival, always has been. These teams, it's going to always go down to the last possession or two especially being only two 1A schools in uh, Frederick County. Yeah, they, they met early in the season, and Brunswick came away with a very close two-point win. Actually, it was a shot, I think, at the buzzer that they won on. Uh, traditionally, going back 17 years, Brunswick has a two-to-one edge against Catoctin. Uh, Catoctin took the win last year when they played that game that season. Was that your, your last year coaching? The last year of coaching, but I'll just go on record or saying this, man. When we played Brunswick, I was here for five, for us uh, those six years. Yeah, we were nine and one against Eight. Brunswick, and that Outstanding. one loss I got, I got to throw that out there. Outstanding. So eleven of those wins that Catoctin had, nine of them belong to you. Nine of them belong to me. Eight. That's great. Okay, so uh, it's that's why it's really important for the Cougars to get the home and home split this season with a win tonight. Absolutely, it's just for bragging rights of the 1A, and it, it would go a long way in the playoff seedings as well to maybe give them a better look, man, and not have them to go way up to Clear Spring and playing out there, which is always a tough thing to do. Yeah, their leading uh, scorer for Brunswick, Garrett Bowie, and for, uh, let's see, we got quiet all of a sudden, I guess we're going to introduce the players, and for the Catoctin Cougars, uh, we've got a couple of players that are up in the numbers there, but... Um, the player to watch is this uh, number 35, Colin Toms, a six foot eight sophomore. He's a big kid. Yeah, Colin always comes to play down low hard. He's just got to develop a little bit more footwork on his offensive game, and he, he'll flourish in the next two years. Just got to put in a little bit more work. Uh, Coach Zach Woodward in his first year here at uh, Docton High School, and he'll be uh, bringing his team out on the floor in just a few minutes. Uh, I had the honor of. Uh, Broadcasting uh, Zach's games when he played for Tuscarora. Yeah, he was part of that championship team that they had down there years ago um, when they won a state championship down there. So yep. he's been around for a minute. Yep, good team. All right, players will be introduced uh, here at courtside. So, what do you think the key to this game tonight is going to be, Coach? Well, it's just if they can, if the contacting guards can get some dribble penetration in and be able to dish to Colin and Robert routes down underneath. If they can do that, then I think they got to look to then maybe kick to Logan Williams and outside. If they don't do that, then it's it's going to be a long night for them. Mm -hmm. so they got a couple of shooters that can shoot from the outside. I noticed they got some three-point shooters on this team. Yeah, Logan Williams, a sophomore. He, I tell you what, he could probably, he probably, if he if you let him shoot it from the parking lot, he'd probably take a shot getting off the bus. On the other hand, Brunswick has got some uh, three-point shooters as well. I was looking at the stats for them, and uh, they, they've got some uh, good-looking good, good -looking, uh, players out there. 
they got this one kid. He's, he's got 15. This is Bowie, their leading scorer. He's averaging 10.2 points per game. He's got 15 trays on the season. Yeah, he's shooting 31 percent. Whoa! So uh, yeah. if, if you don't get a hand out in his face, good chance it's probably going to go in. Yeah, that's dangerous. All right, we'll step aside for our first break, and we'll be right back for the opening tip-off here. The Catoctin Cougars boys basketball hosting the Brunswick Railroaders right here on Cool Oldies 1450 THU. Center of Life Chiropractic in Pilates, located on Water Street in Thurmont, serving the community since 1993. Center of Life is dedicated to treating the whole you, and not just your symptoms, back pain, neck pain, injury, or you just want to improve your mobility and feel healthier. Dr. John Hageman's innovative approach to whole body health is completely unlike anything you have experienced. With convenient hours from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and afternoon hours only on Tuesday from 3 to 7.30 p.m., Center of Life is there for you. Center of Life is closed on weekends and Thursdays. Center of Life accepts all major credit cards and uses the honor system so you pay what you can afford. What an amazing difference they will make in you today. Center of Life, make an adjustment to your life today. Center of Life is a proud sponsor of local high school sports. Jelco Plumbing and Backhoe Service LLC is conveniently located at 108 North Carroll Street in Thurmont with over 40 years of experience in the plumbing industry, celebrating its 10th year serving our community, specializing in all phases of plumbing, including septic installation and repair. The favorite part of our job is meeting new people and knowing that we helped. Jelco Plumbing prides itself on a job well done with pricing that won't flood your budget. Burst pipes, water damage, clogged drains, replacement, remodel, or upgrades. Kelco Co Plumbing Services, most major fixtures, faucets, water heaters, sump pumps, and well pumps and pressure tanks. Kelco Plumbing is certified and licensed in Maryland and Pennsylvania. Call them today at 301-788-9791. That's 301-788-9791. Emergencies or planned repairs, Kelco Plumbing will go out of their way to explain exactly what needs to be done in simple, easy to understand solutions. When a plumber's work is done, well, everyone is happy. Remember, a Good flush. Beats a full house every time. Kelco Plumbing is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the radio. All right, we are back here live for the opening tip-off of this game. The Catoctin Cougars hosting the Brunswick Railroaders boys basketball, and both people are in both... Young men are in the center circle, and there's the tip, and it goes to the railroaders. Quickly, right to the hoop, straight off the glass, and a score. So Ricky Chichimanic takes it right in. Brunswick coming out at 2-1-2, trapping press. And back the other way, straight to the hoop, number 30, Robert Rook, and he puts it in and draws the foul, so Robert will step to the free throw line for the first three throw of the game. Nice strong move by Robert to follow that nice strong move by that guard coming down from uh, Brunswick. The six foot five junior will shoot one. Good stroke, nice, nothing but net. Kentucky out in a one, three, one defense. Dudley down on the left side in the corner. He takes a look and then they work back around the perimeter. From the corner, Bowie, skip pass, cross court. Kick out, top of the key, Bowie pulls the trigger. Off the backboard and they get the good rebound, just a good bounce and it's stolen away by Patrick Mor Morin, Moreland. Kick out, shot from the wing, three pointer, so wish! Logan Williams, sophomore, like I said, he thinks he can hit it from the parking lot. And that was NBA style three pointer right there. Skip pass, cross court. Dudley, back around to Bowie. He penetrates, looking underneath, nothing there. Back underneath, we've got a foul on the floor, and that's going to go into off it. 
Good. Nope, sorry, it's Gavin Watkins. Good call by the referee there, man. Anthony Bowie, one of the season officials, man. It's good to see him doing this game. Bowie to inbound. Looking for a break. He's got him underneath. Shot is in and out. Rebound, Watkins. Here comes off it down the left side. Penetrates, kicks back around. Out front to Toms. He's looking. Rook has the ball. Drive. Baseline. Whoa, a one-handed runner from Logan the baseline Williams. by Williams. Logan Williams. That was a pretty shot. Oh, yeah. Little running floater. Eight to two. Catoctin with the lead in the corner. Hauk stolen. Here come the Cougars. Underneath the Rook and they hit the floor. Catoctin will get it. I mean, I'm sorry, Brunswick will get it. I'd like to see Logan pull up there. He hit two shots. He was wide open for a three. Just go ahead and let it loose. Dudley brings it up. Center court. Guarded out front by Rook. Down on the left side. Over to Dudley. Working the perimeter. Penetration. Pull up shot. Stuffed by Rook. Here comes a fast break. Two on two. Stole away. Got his pocket pick. Coming back the other way. Here comes Chichimanic. Underneath. Beautiful feed underneath to get Genos. And Genos will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Brunswick definitely has advantage at their guards, man. Just the older older kids that they have in their, in their size and their strength. It, it bothered Logan Williams being a sophomore out there in that dribble. Just got a little loose with it. He throws up a brick, misses the front end. So Genos to shoot one. Some of you might recognize that name from football season. He got it. Eight to three, Catoctin with the ball and the lead as off it. Over to Root. Root brings it across midcourt. Back over to Oppen on the right wing. Inside, he hits the big Watkins. Beautiful feet underneath and a score. Nice little high low there by Catoctin. Brunswick calls a quick 30 second timeout to regroup. Who was that underneath that, that got the bucket? Into Moreland. Moreland. Patrick Moreland. Moreland. Okay, I, I couldn't see. I blocked out of view there by the ref. So Moreland with the bucket. And the, the Cougars have a seven-point lead, 10-3, to three, in the opening minutes of this first period. Just because we got a lot of listeners out there in the Frederick County area and Thurmont area, Patrick Moreland, man, his dad was Chris Moreland, was one of the battalion chiefs at the, at the fire department. All right. He died and uh, passed away last right. year of COVID. Oh, my people gosh. People recall that. So, Patrick, yes. great to see him out here. And his dad loved basketball, and Thurmont has a little fun for uh in the name of his dad to keep keep his name going along. Yes. Out front, into the high post, bounce pass over to Bowie. They work the left side, baseline, kick underneath, bounce pass in the paint, traveling violation on the railroaders. Got to give them referees official. That's once again Anthony Bowie. I, I, I love him do, being a varsity basketball official. Can't give him enough compliments. Off it on the right side between the legs. Has it tipped away and he loses it into the back court. It's picked up by the railroader and he scores. Hustling play by Chichmanic. Little four court pressure there. Yeah, their, their strength, you can tell, that's where Brunswick has to get the defensive pressure on them. And Watkins gets a traveling violation, and that was basically a, a defense got a hand on the ball and caused him to skip a step. And Tocton guards got to tighten up with the basketball here, especially they're going to get worn down against Brunswick. It looks like their, their strength's going to try to wear on them throughout the game. Genos, he shoots no good. Bowie with the rebound. Bowie battles for it. Fire back around the perimeter. Inside, in the paint, kick out. Bowie takes a look, draws the double team. Back around from the corner, three-pointer, too long. Rebound, Bowie, and he gets caught underneath the basket, has a second shot blocked, and off it comes down with the rebound. The Cougars bring it up the right side. Watkins fires it over. Root goes to the basket. 
He pulls up and shoots off the glass. Rims in and out. Loose ball underneath. Ripped away by Bowie. He goes out left to Chichamonic. Chichamonic goes crossover, and he shoots and is fouled by Offit. You can definitely see Brunswick's strength there. Moreland got the rebound. Just rip, Bowie just ripped it right from him. Ripped it right away from him, yeah. The, well, these are our football players playing basketball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Spent a lot of time in the weight room. Oh, yeah. It, it definitely shows for sure. Nice front end there by Chichmanic. Ricky, the uh, senior guard for the Railroaders. 3.56 to go in the first. Chichmanic to shoot one. Short off the front of the iron. Root pulls it down for the Cougars. He brings it up court. Goes straight to the hoop. Kick out. Knocked out of bounds. Brunswick ball. Robert was a little deep there. He should have just went ahead and pulled up. Been a nice, easy shot trying to be unselfish. Just one pass too many. He looked like he had the basket. He was straight on in. He did. 10-6. to six. Cougars with a four-point lead. They Run. St they're staying in this 1-3-1. One, one. Brunswick skipping the ball around the perimeter. Nice on the outside, looking to get it down to the Baseline, corner. pull up, five-footer, in and out. Rebound, Brunswick, put back no good. Rebound, Rook for the Cougars. Rook brings it up. Being harassed all the way across, but he gets it into the, the half court. Down on the right side to Williams. Williams looking. Out front to Kraus, now in the game. Rook pulls up and shoots. No good. Too hard off the glass. Rebound, Railroaders. Here comes Brunswick. Into the game now. Number 20, Michael Santa Maria. And there's a left-hander off the glass and a score. Beautiful body control by Ethan Genos. Nice move up and under. Old Kevin McHale move. Look good. And now a runner and draws the foul, and that's going to send Logan Williams to the free throw line to get the two the hard way. With his team only up by two now as the Brunswick team has managed to whittle away at that what was a six-point lead. No. Misses the first one. As good a shooter as he is, shouldn't miss those, man. Just shot a little flat. I'm sure he'll adjust and get this one in. He's too good of a shooter. Hayden Matthews in for the Cougars. Mm. Too hard off the back rim. Braille Rotors come down with it. He misses them both. Can't have that in this game. Lob inside, knocked away. They're going to call that on Matthews. Matthews, many of you recognize that name, one of the two quarterbacks that platoon for Catoctin this year in the football season. He just tried to go through them. Got to get better post defense there. Out front to Dudley. Bounce pass, shot from the wing. Air ball. Rook has an easy one task with it right in the basket. Kentuck, His back. Catoctin's got to get a bucket here. Just really haven't got anything offensively. Rook trips and falls, loses the ball, and the Brunswick Railroaders come up with it as they penetrate and then kick it back out. Working the right side now. Hauk straight to the basket, pull up on the run, and a bucket. Number four, Chichmanic ties up the game at 10 apiece. Matthews pulls the trigger from way out front, too far, rebound Brunswick. And a foul, that's gonna go on number 40. And I do not have him on the roster. I think they must have moved him up from JV. I don't recognize him um, right off the right, bat. We'll find out during a break who he is so we can give him credit. Bowie with the ball now. Brunswick tied at 10. Nice feed underneath, shot, and he misses it, gets his own rebound. Put back is no good, and now a foul. And that's going to send Genos to the free throw line again 
to shoot two. So it looks like Genos is just using his strength underneath to overpower the Catoctin low posts. Yeah, and then there's got to be a reason that uh, Colin Tom's in, in the game. I don't know if it's from from something, uh, sickness, injury, but you would think he would be in. Um, I don't. You know, there's got to be something something there that he's not, especially being the leading rebounder in the county. He could neutralize neutralize uh, Genos. Moreland checks back into the game as Genos gets the second free throw. Gives his team a one-point lead now. Moreland into Matthews. Matthews loses the ball. Moreland and Matthews not on the same page. Matthews cut to the basket just as Moreland fired it the other way. 59 seconds left in the first period, and we're already in the bonus for Brunswick. Seven team fouls on Catoctin. Yeah, just being lazy and just you just getting worn down by their strength, man. Just really not moving their bodies. Genos makes one. Going on that 6-0 run here, man. Zach's going to have to think about doing something, calling a timeout. Definitely got to get a good, good look. They're coming down here. Don't let this game get away from you early. He misses the second one as Rook pulls it down. He's got 55 seconds on the play clock. Over to Kraus. He goes baseline, loses the ball, tries to pick it back up, pulls up his dri dribble, gets double teamed, and he gets it away, and we've got a foul on the floor. After that timeout, Brunswick, that 30-second timeout, Brunswick has extended the D, put their strength and pressure on them, and now Kentuckton can get nothing going. They're going to have to set some screens to be able to get open. Off it. He brings it up. Over to Kraus. He hands off. Krause drives, looks underneath, over to Rook. Rook drives, he gets, loses the ball, gets it back, and a traveling violation on Robert. Good help side defense with Brunswick sliding over there. Janos came over and gave good help, and there's nothing he could do with it and had to pick it up. Brunswick with the two-point lead and the ball with 21 seconds on the clock. Play clock and game clock. Bowie freezes it out front. Down on the right side, look underneath for the cutter. Bounce pass underneath. Back out. Bowie pulls the trigger. No good. Rebound, Katakin. Here comes Oppet. Oppet throws it all down court, and it's no good. So at the end of one period, eight minutes of action, the, the Brunswick Railroaders 12, the Katakin Cougars 10. We'll be right back. At Thurmont Country Kitchen, one recent diner summed it up perfectly. This place is so good, the words are fun. It's one of the small town diner with awesome food and great service. Thurmont Country Kitchen is located on Water Street in downtown Thurmont. Open weekdays, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturdays, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And Sundays, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Remember when Grandma used to say, if you're looking for a great restaurant, follow the locals. And that's exactly what you'll find at Thurmont Country Kitchen. A wonderful mixture of out-of-town guests, travelers up and down Route 15, and the locals who love Country Kitchen's award-winning roasted chicken. Homemade cooking at its finest, with lots of sweets and goodies at the counter to go. Country Kitchen is a great place for birthday parties, meetings, or just to take the family when you're out and about. Their huge menu has something for everybody, and their warm country home atmosphere and small town charm will take you back to simpler times. Thermont Country Kitchen, satisfying and delicious. You'll feel right at home at Thermont Country Kitchen. Thermont Country Kitchen is a proud sponsor of local food. All right, we are back with you here live. There's the inbound as Williams brings it across midcourt over to Offit. Williams with the cutter, nothing there. Rook out front, top of the key, back around off to Williams. Williams looking. Offit, he fires it over to Rook now. Rook goes into the paint, pulls up, kicks it out front. Shot on the run, a beautiful runner by Williams for the bucket. And that's the first bucket. That's quite a drought there for the 
Cougars. Absolutely. The last bucket they had was Logan Williams on that little run runner to get him to 10, and he scored the next one. He's got seven of their 12. Bowie takes a look. Back out. Dudley back to Bowie. He shoots. Too far. Put back is good. So camped out in the lane. Genos with the put back makes it look easy. Genos is down there. He's owning the glass, and that's keeping Brunswick in the lead here. Watkins with the spin move underneath. Nothing there. Rebound Railroaders. Here comes Bowie. He goes straight, penetrates, pulls up, and shoots on the run. And the ball goes in and out, but he will go to the free throw line to shoot two. And so it looks like the key here so far is that Railroaders are penetrating just about every drive and drawing the foul or drawing the contact. Yeah, they're not doing – Kentucky is standing at 1-3-1 one, one zone, and they're not doing a good job of collapsing that thing. Coach uh, Woodward's going to have to make an adjustment here on that because they're, they're getting ready to get guys in foul trouble, having eight fouls already. Yeah. We're getting ready to be in a double bonus. Right. we got six minutes left. Right. Bowie misses the first one. He'll shoot one. Missed them both. Rebound. Moreland. He gets up on the glass. Offit brings it up. Midcourt. Drives off the pick. Looking for the pick and roll. He got it. Oh, and Watkins travels. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't either. That's uh, why I gave you the raised eyebrow look. Yeah, I, I, well... You know, Coach Waiter's doing the same thing, asking him the same thing. Bounce pass underneath. Kick back out front to Dudley. Dribble, pull up, skip pass to Bowie. He shoots. In and out. Loose ball. Off it's got the rebound. He's on the run. He backs out with a one on three. Rook, he goes to the basket. He goes on the fadeaway, can't convert. Dudley brings it down. Roberts got to use the glass there, would have helped him. Trapped underneath Lawrence. Bounces it over, they get it out front. Stolen by Offit. He's got the ball, he loses it. Watkins comes up with it, goes for the reverse layup. And he doesn't get the basket, but he will shoot two. He talked in a bit of better job, made a little adjustment on that zone. They're just a little late getting that opposite job guy to drop. Their best offense is getting some defense and getting out in a fast break because their guards are having trouble going by the Brunswick defenders. Yes. I think they need to play a little tighter defense and work on transition buckets. Yeah, and I, I Bowie for being 31%, he shot, in four three, shot four threes and he's 0 for 4, but that right. doesn't mean he can't heat up in a hurry. Yeah, he gets that stroke and it's a look out. So Watkins misses them both. So, uh, again, Katakin very cold from the free throw line tonight. 0 for 4. Out front to Chichmanic. Tries to get it underneath, and it's knocked away and out of bounds. Brunswick will keep it. They'll inbound from underneath as Bowie calls the signals the inbound play. Dalton Reeves checking in, man. He's a senior, scrappy kid. Let's see if he can give him a spark. Just checked in for Kentuckton. Number 10. Out front of Chichmanic. Over to Dudley. Bowie goes hot to the basket. He pulls up and shoots. No good. Rebound Rook. He has it stripped away. Watkins comes up with it. Watkins gets some help. Over to Reed. Rook. He travels. I, you know, I'm not a fan of Robert being out front like that. I, I want him underneath right now, at least in this game. Yeah, he, uh, but he's more comfortable being outside. I know. If you had Thomas ah. out there, you're playing to where his skill set is, and Robert in does do a Rose nice job of taking the ball to butt, but, but it does make him different with Tom's being out, and then I agree you got to put Robert yeah, down underneath. That's what I mean. Yep. I mean, in this game, I'm putting yes. him down low. Yep. Uh, because right now, he's had a couple of turnovers at the point. Yep. Bowie. 
Dudley. Bowie. Bowie with a beautiful no look underneath. And he doesn't take advantage, so he kicks it back out to Bowie. He pulls the trigger and it misses. So Bowie 0 for 5 now from three-point land. Straight to the hoop goes Alfit. And let's see, I believe he's fouled, so Matthew will shoot two. He'll shoot two. Matt, Matt's got to do that, take the ball. He's got a lot of speed. Take it to the basket. That's They need to get out in transition because if they get in a half-court set, Brunswick's power and strength is just going to keep them away from the basket. Many of you know Matthew, the drummer for five and a half men. He's the half. <laughs> and he makes the first one. Matt, gritty kid. His dad's a JV coach. Well coached. Got them both. Good free throw shooting, finally. So we see some conversions from the charity stripe. Ties it up at 14 apiece with 428 and a half. Bowie on the wing. Down low, baseline. Beautiful pull up and nice body control. I'll tell you what, Genos is the Railroaders offense tonight. 100%. I don't know why Root gave him that baseline. He went right around him like, you got to take that away. Matthew Oppett in the corner. He dribbles out. Then he goes baseline. Spins, turns, shoots. Partially blocked shot. Goes right into the hands of the railroader. Here comes Dudley on the run. He points, directs traffic, pulls out, and resets his offense. He wants a high post. How posts up. Out front, Santa Maria, back around. Bowie goes to the hoop. He shoots the runner, and nothing but net. Nice soft touch runner by Bowie from five feet. Late rotation coming over by Kentucky. Got to get Williams a shot here. Williams does a nice little spin move. I thought he was going hot, but he decides to come back out front to Rook, and it's knocked away. And Coach Woodward calls us. Is that a 30 second timeout? 30 second timeout yeah. by Coach Woodward. It's an important bucket right here, so that's a strategic timeout, don't you think? Yeah, they got to get a bucket here. Yeah. They, they, it's got to go. Logan Williams has got to be the one if he's in the game right now with Tom's not being out there. He's got to take the next shot. Zach's got to set something up for he can come off a screen and get a good look. If you give him a good look at a, at a three or a mid range jumper, it's probably, probably going in the hole. I want to thank you for joining us. We're uh, running video, or you can watch it on your mobile device at WTHGradio.com. If you're in your car listening, when you get home, if you want to see the game, we've got it live for you with the live commentary, play-by-play, -play, and also archived. You can watch it later tomorrow, share it with your friends at no charge. Off it takes the inbound. 3 10 and a half. Offit and Williams down on the right side. Offit goes straight up, kick out to Watkins. He shoots, swish. Got a couple screens, got a good look down to Gavin Watkins in the short corner. Good timeout. Now they got to lock down and stop him right here. Shot from the corner. It's off. Rebound, Williams. Here come the Cougars with a chance to tie it up. Rifle pass over to Offit. He takes a look. He goes baseline, reverse, no look out front. Williams shoots, in and out. Loose ball, rebound, Genos. Here comes Bowie. Bowie wants to go. Behind the back, Bowie kicks it out. Dudley has it. Dudley with a spin. Bounce pass over on the left to Santa Maria. Underneath, to the hoop, Genos. It doesn't go, rebound Watkins. That was a good defensive cycle for the Cougars. Watkins from the top of the key, and it's in! The big man hits the three. That transition, they don't let Brunswick set up in D and they get a quick look. That's the way to do it. Oh, the no look underneath, the rifle pass by Bowie to Genos, and Genos points his finger at Bowie and says, great pass. Breakdown on defense by, by the Cougars in that 2-1-2. Two, Celebrating on a three too much, didn't sprint back and get in their position. Knocked out of bounds. Cougars will inbound from underneath their own basket as Offit steps out. 
147 to go. 20 to 19, Brunswick. Into Williams, in the corner. Guarded hard by Bowie. He kicks it out to Robert. Rook, Rook dribbles, drifts right, drifts right. Goes off the screen. Straight to the basket on the runner and swish. Nice floater. And he gets the bucket for the lead. Again, rifle underneath. Beautiful pass by Bowie to Hauk this time. And he scores. Wow. Somebody's got to close down that lane. Making mistakes in that 2-1-2. The two of them, guys underneath are getting caught too high up. Bowie all over the court. Knocks that one out of bounds. Playing defense, offense, passing. He's got it. He's way up there in the assist. I think he's up there high in the assist for the league, isn't he? Hop, yeah. Hawkins, Bowie. Uh, Bowie, no, Bowie, yeah, Bowie. Uh, no, he's not. No. Well, he is tonight. 2.4 2. assists per game. I'm interesting. Okay, in the Kraus. Kraus to Williams. Hits Kraus on the run. They give and go. Williams fires from the corner. Swiss three-pointer for Logan Williams. There it is. 24-22, Catoctin. Bowie, down on the right side. Hauk, back to Bowie. Bowie has the ball knocked away and stolen. Here come the Cougars. Rook with the ball. He hands off to Offit. Offit to Kraus. Kraus fakes, back to Offit. Got to find Williams here. He's got the hot hand. They got to have him shoot the ball and get off the screen. He's got it now. Top of the key. Looking for the pick. Behind the back. Step back. He shoots. It's off. Partially blocked. Here come the railroaders. Down by two. 15 seconds on the clock. They'll shoot for the last basket of the half. Bowie from the corner. It's no good. Up in the air, high, How puts it in. At the buzzer, he ties it up. And we take a tie game 24-24 to the dressing room. And Hauk just skied above the rest of the field to bring that, to snatch that reboard down off the Raptors. Absolutely hard. Kentuckton's going in that 1-3-1 one, one zone and 2-1-2 two, two most of the first half. Really didn't show any man, maybe for a possession or two. And then when you're in those zones, it's hard to go find a body and match somebody up. So they got to stress that and fix that at halftime. All right, we'll step aside for a break and be back in just a few minutes with your first half wrap-up. vehicle with a Hilo sales six months, 6,000 mile warranty. Find out about the Hilo difference at one of the leading independent automobile dealers in Maryland. That's Hilo Auto Sales. We look forward to serving you at HiloAutoSales.com.
One third of Americans have stopped attending church since 2020. This is Matt Staver with Freedom's Call. Government officials imposed COVID-19 restrictions against houses of worship about three years ago. As a result, these restrictions have apparently precipitated an overall decline in religious worship attendance. In fact, a recent study reveals that approximately one in three Americans have stopped attending in-person church services since the lockdowns in 2020. The data showed that only 13% of Americans reported attending in-person worship services in the summer of 2020. This increased to 27% by the spring of 2022, but the rates of worship attendance were still lower than they were before the pandemic and subsequent lockdowns. The lockdowns had a negative impact in our communities and many churches closed at the time of the greatest need. Churches are the source of hope and help to hurting people. Stay informed at Liberty Council's website, lc.org. USA News Update. The Biden administration will be represented at Tyree Nichols' funeral tomorrow. Vice President Kamala Harris will attend. Nichols beaten to death earlier this month by Memphis police officers. No one was injured when an armed man entered a Target store in Omaha, Nebraska today and opened fire. Uh, the suspect is a white male. I'm going to estimate that he's in his 30s. He had an AR-15 rifle with him and plenty of ammunition. There's evidence to suggest with shell casings that he entered the target and was firing rounds. Omaha police spokesman Todd Shermitter says police shot and killed the suspect. Meanwhile, police investigating a shooting at a Dollar Tree near Boston where two people were injured. Actor Alec Baldwin being formally charged with involuntary manslaughter in the deadly 2021 shooting on the film set of Rust in New Mexico. The cinematographer was shot and killed when Baldwin fired a prop gun that was loaded with a real bullet. John Schaefer, USA News. Greg Maliazzi here for eBay Motors. You're driving along and some nimrod cuts you off. You hit the horn. <laughs> Jeez, it sounds like a goose in distress. Time to head over to eBay Motors. They have horns for every make and model, not to mention horn pads, steering wheels, wiring, and more. 122 million parts. You can even go for an upgrade. That looks like Mr. Cutoff Man needs a new seat cover. Try eBay Motors, pal. Get the right parts at the right prices. eBay Motors, let's ride. When you need auto parts, O'ReillyAuto.com is just a few clicks away. We offer convenient options for you to get your parts quickly. Order online and pick up for free at your local O'Reilly Auto Parts store. We'll even bring it out curbside. Or you can have your parts delivered right to your door with free shipping on most orders over $35. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back after this important message. Oldies 1450 AM forecast for tonight. Mostly cloudy with scattered snow showers. Lows around 26 with wind chevets at 19. Chance of snow is 30%. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, most snow showers in the forecast. High of 38. Wind chevets at 18 degrees. New snow less than a half an inch. Partly cloudy on the tomorrow night with a low of 25. From the cool Oldies 1450 AM Weather Center, I'm LaJuan Haynes. This can be a busy time of year. Running around getting ready for company, visiting friends, or spending time enjoying family. We are all too familiar with a growing list of errands that need our attention. Gary the Barber knows how busy life can get, and so he makes sure that your convenience and a great haircut are first on his list. Call Gary the Barber today. Gary the Barber has hours to accommodate any busy schedule. 301 305 7895. Hey everyone, Gary the Barber is open for business. Just call 301 305 7895 to make an appointment right away. That's 301 305 7895. Get a great haircut today. And now, small business setback. Step two, smooth jazz. It's night. You're driving in the rain with only one thing on your mind. The deer about to total your HVAC van. But with aggressive 30 plus customizable coverage options, you're covered. The rest is just saxophone. When running your small business gets rough, Progressive Commercial is there to smooth it out. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Twinkly sounds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates. Coverage and discounts not available for all vehicles or states. Policy terms and conditions apply.
All right. Welcome back to halftime here. We are at Catoctin High School Live. It's a tie game, 24 apiece. Coach, what do you think uh, Coach Woodward told the team in the dressing room? Well, they got to get, uh, get their guards, Brunswick's guards, to penetrate into the lane. They got to make an adjustment. Somebody on the backside's got to slide over and give help. If they don't do that, it's going to be a long night for them, and they got to get a body on, on Ethan. Uh, Garros to make Genos, sure yeah. Genos and, and, the, and the Hawk kid are, are there. It's going to be a long night for them. Good. All right. Good. So on the other hand, what, what do you think uh, coach told Larry Brown coach told the railroaders? Well, I, they got to get on Logan Williams because he's, he's got 12 of their points, I think thus far. And I think he's only missed one three and that thing was in and out. So if he would hit the two free throws, they got to, they neutralize him and they're going to be better, uh, better, uh, got a better chance of, of, of extending their lead out. Okay. All right, thanks. We're going to take our last break now. We're going to head out and be back for the opening tip-off here in just about a minute. Thanks for tuning in. your real-time information news weather traffic school delays and cancellations at cool 1450 a.m one of our most important resources is frederickscanner.com live traffic cams weather cams city and county resources police fire and rescue anyone living working or traveling in and around frederick should bookmark frederickscanner.com on their pc or go to their facebook page and download the mobile app today frederickscanner.com a live information window to Frederick County. All right, here we go. The Railroaders will inbound to take over this third period. Tied up at 24 apiece in case you just joined us. A really good first half of boys high school basketball. Absolutely. Hey, Mike, got to give a shout-out to somebody listening to us down in Florida. Man, used to play at Kentucky, and actually he's my son. He said he texted me, said he was able to get the radio and yeah. stream it. So we got somebody way down there watching and listening to the game. Outstanding. <laughs> Greetings to the Sunshine State. From uh, It's, it's kind of drizzly, and they're talking about snow up here. So keep representing down there. Okay, Bowie, top of the key, rifled around the Dudley. Dudley, bounce pass, out front, inside the Hauk. They work it out front. Bowie pulls up. He gets caught in the paint. Beautiful bounce pass, but it's disrupted, and now it looks like Genos is going to get the foul. Kentucky stayed at 2-1-2, came out, but they got the guys down underneath a little bit deeper. Patrick Moreland was able to come over and make that block. Let's see if they stay with that. Rook to inbound. Over to Offit. They're running a trap now. Full court press trap. They break it over to Williams. He looks. No look. Out front to Moreland. Root top of the key. Right around the wing they go. Watkins pulls the trigger. So wish. Nothing but springs. The three-pointer for Gavin Watkins, the big guy. How? He feeds Genos. Genos has it tipped away. Pull-up shot on the run. Rebound, Cougars. Here comes Offit down the left side. He has it tipped away. It's stolen. Hauk back the other way, lays it up. No, no, he flushes it. Hauk goes up and flushes it, and that brings the crowd to their feet. Traveling violation on the Cougars. Gavin was getting ready to spot up for another one. Matt on that last possession just got one too many dribbles, got deep. Brunswick got the breakaway for the big dunk. 27-26, Cougars by one. Bowie with the ball. Bowie over to Dudley. Dudley dribbles once, bounce pass. Alberto Chichmanic, bounce pass inside to Genos. Genos guarded. He goes around the defense and scores. So he dribbled right around Moreland, left him standing there grabbing air. Offit is tripped. He falls down. Brunswick comes up with the ball. Here they come. Another Brunswick player goes down. 
There's a shot, no good, and a lot of bodies hitting the ground right now. We're getting physical. Yeah, that, that a lot of contact in the back. Two two Kentuckian flip players hit the floor. No call. I don't know. I I I got I got nothing. Dudley to shoot two. In and out. Jackson Dudley three two to ten. Dudley for one. Got it. Now full court pressure. Offit brings it across midcourt and breaks the trap. Kick over to Williams. He goes hot to the basket. Five foot runner, swish. So Williams has a hot hand now. Ties it up at 29. Beautiful no look feed underneath. My goodness, that was Krause had a pass that was one of the best of the game and a steal and a shot. Knocked away, loose ball, Brunswick comes up with it. Brunswick right now out hustling the Cougars. Coach Woodward might want to think about a timeout here, just get the team settled down, especially if they get another basket right here. Genos with a one dribble score, and there it is. Coach Woodward calls timeout, just like you said. They jumped out to a four point lead on that 33 to 29. And that was basically on just some hustling defense and a couple of steals. Yeah, they set up a little press, extended press put out there. They, they don't have the right matchup against that right now. He's going to have to make an adjustment mm -hmm. to get them out of that. He's got three people up. Uh, Brunswick does on the defensive end, and, and they only got two guards. They need to get somebody to flash on that opposite side, and they're just not doing that right now. Let's see if they do that coming out of the timeout. All right. Both teams huddle up in front of their respected benches. The Good crowd here for a Tuesday night. I want to give you a little heads up about a really exciting game. Coach, this Friday we head down to Frederick where the number one Frederick Cadets boys basketball team will take on the number three Linganore Lancers and that is going to be a fabulous game tip off at 7 p.m. this Friday, February the 3rd. Yeah, Frederick, man, they're, they're a hot team. They're looking really good. They're playing some great basketball, and I look for them to come uh, March to go to go deep. Ever since Frederick got that new high school, man, they put out a, a, a state champion uh, football team and then a state champion yeah. basketball team. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing what, what, what a new building will do for, for the kids around yeah. there. Here we go, Rook to inbound in the backcourt. Again, full court pressure by the Railroaders in the Offit. Offit draws the trap over to Rook, back to Offit. They play catch. He breaks the press. Rook to shot is blocked. And Georgeoff comes with it and puts it back in. Heads up play by Ethan Georgeoff. His first minutes on the floor. Chichmanic underneath, wide open. Genos puts it in. You can't let him sit in that paint like that. Foul on Bowie as he reaches in. First team foul of the half. Second, excuse me, for Brunswick. George off the inbound. With Williams being out of the game here, Matt Alfred's going to have to look to take a shot, man, to keep Brunswick guards honest on the defensive end. Let's we'll see if he does that. Into Offit. Offit goes baseline. Backs out. Tries to go baseline again. Gets caught. Over to Krause. He loses the ball. It's on the floor. There's a scramble. Jump ball. Possession error goes to Catoctin. So Krause loses the handle on it but they get a lucky recovery on the possession arrow and they'll keep the ball down by four. Into Krause, backcourt. He brings it up the right side. Over to Offit. Offit looks for the cutter, it's not there. Back out front to Roop. Lob into Krause. Krause looking, he spins, turns, pulls up. Bounce pass to Watkins, 
and he shoots and scores. Nice body control by the big guy with the little five foot floater. Got to get hands up in the passing lane to get a stop on the defensive end here. Just can't trade baskets. Contocton's working too hard on the offensive end. Traveling violation, that's going to go on Garrett Bowie. And Bowie, who had a great first half, all of a sudden admitted a, admitted a foul and an error. Turnover. Turnover. Off it. Arid be base mode. Thank you. <laughs> uh, underneath the Offit, Offit has it tipped away. He gets it back. Bounce pass in the Rook. He turns, spins. It's on the floor before the shot. So that's going to be out of bounds as Rook draws the foul. George off to inbound. Gonna run, gonna look for a screen down here in the corner to get Robert here to the ball for a three. Bad pass, just let try to no look it. That's what they were setting up. Had it if he would have looked. Yep, just a momentary lapse in focus, mental alertness as Dudley brings it up. Jackson across midcourt, drifts right, drifts right. Fires it down to Cortez. Cortez out front to Bowie. They work around the perimeter. Play and catch. Hauk. Lob inside. This time they knock it away and deny Genos. Good D that time. Rauch goes hot to the basket. The runner. It's good. Robert, Rook, Jr. Looking to break down. Jogging back. 35-35. They've tied it up. Inside to Genos, they collapse on him, tie up the ball, harass him, and then a shot from the corner, in and out, loose ball, and Brunswick comes down with it. Baseline, Dudley, kick out. Bowie shoots from out front. It's no good. Up in the air, we've got a foul. Oh, no, no, that was the, that was the second it, clock, yeah. No, it hit the Oh, it hit the stanchion. Up, up, up top, so it's okay. out of bounds. Out of bounds, it hit the stanchion. And that's and that's Bowie, 0 for 7 for three-point line yes, sir. tonight. So good good time for him to be off. Let's just hope, know how those things work. He'll get hot in the last minute. <laughs> for the last shot of the game, right? <laughs> just like the last time back in December. Here we go. Williams back in the game. Williams has got it. Logan, he wants the ball, man. Look at him. Yeah. He's, he's like a cat. They, they got to give him a screen. There, look, he's got in his hands now. It's going up. Look at that it's spin. It's going up. Straight to and the hoop. Ho, oh, ho. He shoots it up in the air. Loose ball. There's the rebound by Genos. Genos outlet to Hauk. Hauk down the right side. Fires into the corner to Bowie. Bowie backs out. But Dudley out front, top of the key. He points. He wants that high post. He drives off the screen. Down in the corner, inside to Genos, and they tie him up. But Rook's going to get the foul. Caught a foul. Caught a foul in a hole down there, brought it down. Like Just a judgment call down first, there. Second. They're doing the right thing by double and triple yeah, teaming them down there us. now, making that adjustment. And let somebody beat them from the outside then. If yeah. They haven't hit them yet, and if they do, then adjust again. Out front to Harsh. Harsh in the game for his first minutes. Bowie, high post. Genos turns and shoots way off. Out of bounds, Cougars ball. Genos, he looks tired. He looks tired. He's red in the face. He's been playing hard. I was just yeah. thinking the same thing. Don't know what his conditioning is. Rook over to Watkins. Watkins dribbles out to Offit. Offit, top of the key, looking. He drifts right over to Williams. Williams looking for the pick. He goes in off roof. Blocking foul on Dudley. And that's, they want to do that every time. That's a good call right there. Absolutely. Logan Williams is tough to handle. He's got a good, quick first dribble on that little runner. If you give him space, he's going to get it off. Almost got it off there and got the foul beforehand. Lobbed out front to Offit. Off it off the draw, off pick. Rook, he shoots. 
Oh, in and out, loose ball, rebound. Hauk comes down with it. Nice rebound by Ethan as he outlets. Bowie has it stolen away. Offit has a one-on-one. -on -one. He looks, goes right-hander, throws it up and draws the foul, and Matthew hits the deck hard. He looked for just a half a second to throw, see if Williams was coming down for the three. I think he would have kicked it out. Yep, he was looking for the trailer. It wasn't there, so he did the old drag foot and pulled the foul. 35-35. Off it. Rattles and drops. So Matthew gets the front end. Gives the Cougars the lead again. This is, I, I think we've had, what, seven or eight lead changes so far in this game. Absolutely. Make it two in a row. Matthew spent a lot of time shooting free throws out in the driveway with his dad, I'm sure. Oh, 100%. Inside the Genos, they collapse on him, strip Three him away. Him. It goes right into the hands of Hauk. He shoots rims in and out, rebound Rook. He pulls it right off the rim, and he brings it up. Behind the back, Rook hands off to Offit. He pulls up and shoots. Whoa! He drains it. Nothing but net. All the strings on that one. Big shot by Matt coming down in transition. Five-point lead now for the Cougars. Down in the corner, they go. Skip pass, wide open, half goes, pulls up, shoots on the run, rims in and out, rebound Watkins. Offit slows it down and calls the play. Looking for help from Rook, he gets the pick, goes for the pick and roll and throws it away. Right into the hands of Genos. And at the buzzer, no shot. And Matthews slams the floor with his fist because he knows yeah. that was a golden opportunity yeah. missed. Absolutely. Eight seconds left. Went down and just threw it up. No man's land. Had Logan coming down if he would have spotted him. Yep. It would have been a three. Chances are he's probably going to make that. Would have went out to an eight-point lead. Would have been their largest of the game. It would have. I want to thank our sponsors for making this game possible. That's Center of Life Chiropractic, Calco Plumbing, and Thermont's Country Kitchen. Check them out today. Go down there and... Frequent their businesses and tell them thank you for sponsoring high school sports because you love it. All right. 40 to 35. Cougars by five. We're going to put eight minutes up on the clock. And that's going to determine the difference between who wins this game and who gets the L. All right, here we go. Both teams still huddled up. Second buzzer to bring them out. Here we go. All right, that's it. Well, you wouldn't expect anything else than this game like been like it is. Yeah. So Bowie will inbound. The railroaders will have control in this fourth period. Dudley. Down in the corner. B Bowie from the corner. There it is. He hit the three finally, and it was a beauty. Nothing but net. Needed it, and a steal quick by Brunswick. Right back to Bowie. A oh, and a shot and a score right in his face. It looks like Matthew's going to try to get the three the hard way as he steps to the free throw line for the and one, and we've got a timeout. And eight seconds at five point lead, a three by Bowie, a steal coming up by Brunswick. Bowie gets the N N one, going to for the free throw line to give them the lead eight seconds into the fourth quarter. Quick timeout by Coach Woodward. Unbelievable. <laughs> five points evaporated in two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. And you know, again, Garrett Bowie. What, yep. what do you think? 0 for 8 oh. before he finally hits? He was 0 for 7. Now he's 1 for, one eight. for 8. And, he, and, and goes in, gets it when it gets a little momentum. They make the steal. Now he's at a line to get three points again and give him the lead. He's been missing that shot all day oh, wide open yep. from the corner. Yep. And it hit, like we said, that we said one in the fourth was quarter, nothing but net. Nothing but that net. was a rainbow. And three-point shooters like that, he hits one. So they he's get that. Yeah, that, he's, uh, yep. three, four are going to go you're in right. the basket. No, you're right. 
All right, here we go. Bowie to shoot one. Got it. One point lead now for the Railroaders as Rook brings it up. Watkins over to Williams. Williams looking, bounce pass to Rook. Rook out front, guarded by Bowie. Loose ball on the floor, there's a scramble. Cougars come up with it. And now we've got a push and a foul. That's going to go against the Brunswick. Number 11, I believe, is the call. No. Brunswick, Jackson Dudley, his third, team sixth. That's Dudley's third. Jackson draws the foul. One more. Kentucky will be in the bonus coming down the stretch, the last seven minutes of the ball game. Good observation, yes. Off it, top of the key, behind the back. He dribbles out, looking for the pick. He goes hard, underneath on the cutter. Moreland loses the handle momentarily, gets it back, go to Rook. Rook over to Williams, over to Offit. Offit pulls up, shoots a five footer on the run, doesn't go at the buzzer and the rebound goes to Brunswick. Here comes Hauk, over to Bowie. Cross court to Hauk. Inside the Genos. Kick out. Great ball movement by Brunswick. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Inside the Genos. He misses the layup, but Hauk gets, Hauk gets the putback. 43-40. 8-0 run. Brunswick by three. A reach in. That's going to go on Bowie. Bowie, and I think that's his third. Yep, that's Bowie's third. He's these free throws are important here. They haven't scored a bucket the last two minutes. 8-0 run. they got to quiet him here and just make it a one-point one game. Root Plenty of time. Root shoots the one-and-one. One. Got it. Nice touch for the big guy. One more for Robert Jr. Got them both. Gets the shooter's slide over that front iron into the basket. Needed those. Hout from the corner, back out front. Chichmanic over to Bowie. He pulls the trigger. This time it's no good. Rebound Watkins. So the three-pointer for Bowie doesn't go that time, but he rushed it a bit, don't you think? Yeah, he's off balance, shot it sideways, maybe been a foot outside his range. Rook, he shoots the three, and that's no good. Loose ball. Hauk comes up with it. Hauk brings it up. Good shot by Robert. Doesn't mind it. Looked good, just a little short. 43-42, Brunswick with a one-point lead in the ball as Genos kicks it out to Hauk in the corner. Inside to Genos again. Genos is getting that ball inside. And there you go, Hauk with the tray. Cougars bring it up. Moreland, he gets fouled. No, timeout, I'm sorry. Yeah, Logan Williams not in the game right now. When he's not in the game, Kentuckton's got to find somebody that's willing to put up a good look um, to get a shot. They're going to have to run some screens off people. A lot of people are just standing and watching and not trying to get people open to get a good look. Yeah. 46-42, Brunswick by four. At one point, Kentuckton starting this half, Kentuckton had a five-point lead, and they were on the roll. They clearly had the momentum, and then out of nowhere, an eight-point run by the Railroaders. 8-0, and they're on 11-2 run right now. And the only baskets that Kentuckton has is a two, in this fourth quarter are the two free throws by Robert. So that it, whether it's fatigue, whether it's shot, shot selection, whether it's something coming down in the fourth quarter, they got to correct that in the next month to make a run and a push in the playoffs. So Williams is on the bench right now getting a breather. So they're going to they're get him in, what, last four minutes? 
I think he'll come in in the next minute. I, I, you can't sit him that long. He's probably their leading scorer tonight besides Robert. they got to get him in the game and get him some looks and let him come off some screens. Brunswick's been doing a great job defensively setting up that press and changing the things that they're doing. 5-13 to go in the game. Cougars have the ball. They will inbound from under their own basket. As Kraus steps out. Into Offit. Offit dribbles out. Setting up a play here. Looks like they're going to run something. Coming up. Root, top of the key. Guarded by Hauk. Over to Offit. They set the pick. Oh, Rook wasn't looking. Yeah, Rook wasn't looking, and the bounce pass went right past him. So a little miscommunication there and a turnover by the Cougars. And inside to Genos, and he scores. So the lob inside, Genos off the glass. Yeah, 13 to 2 run now. Four minutes left. You got it down six. Logan Williams got to get back in the basketball game. Everything's coming off for Kentucky. Off it, give and go, beauty, and he scores. Nice, Moreland goes straight to the basket on the give and go. Draws the foul and gets the basket. That big was back, big. Big back That's basket by Moreland, needed yeah, that, needed to hit this free throw, make it a one position game with four minutes left. Moreland takes a deep breath with the ball tucked on his hip. Now he's ready. He'll shoot one. Oh, in and out. How comes down with it. 13 to four run. Bowie, top of the key. Over to Dudley. Chickmanic, no look, bounce pass underneath. Genos shoots, misses, but he's fouled. So Genos to shoot two. Logan Williams check it back into the game. At the four minute mark. Yeah. Can't set him down there long. Jennings makes the first one. Out comes Kraus. In comes Logan. They gotta give him a screen though. If they don't give him a screen, he's not he's gonna have to settle with that floater. But if they get him a screen and he gets room, he can hit that three. Get him right back into this ball game. Genos makes them both, extends the lead to six now, 50 to 44, Brunswick on top with four minutes to go. Off it with the ball, he points, directs traffic, over to Root, drives off the pick. Out front, Williams challenged, ball is stolen away, and a foul on Cougars. Big defensive play by Chich Manick out front. Yeah, overplayed Williams, knows he's got to have the ball. Yeah. Used his body and his strength, senior against a sophomore, just pushed him where he needed him to go. Big defensive play for Brunswick. Straight to the hoop, stripped away and lost out of bounds. It's a turnover by the Railroaders. The Cougars will get a break. Coach Woodward ran a little offense, defense, put Brent Krause in there, Logan Williams back in the game. Mm -hmm. Off it, right at scores table, he pulls up. Guarded by Dudley. They set the offense. Over to Rook on the right side. Rook, he dribbles once. Back around the wing they go. Off it drives. Kick out right into the hands of Hauk. Matthew with a bad pass. If Kentuckton doesn't get something in transition, half court they struggle at. So they got to get something in transition here. That was a walk they missed. Right out in front of the referee. Big play, didn't call it. Now get a foul going the other way. Shooting foul, that's going to send... Chichmanic to the free throw line to shoot two. Fouls I can talk to Gavin Watkins, his third, team sixth. Ricky Chichmanic shooting two. At two, sorry. 15 to four run is the. Yeah. And Make it 16. 16 to four. 
He just hit the front end. Yep. So Chichmanic will shoot one with his team up by seven now at the three minute mark of this game. Yep. Moreland comes out. Into the game comes Hayden Matthews. He misses the second one, way up in the air, and Brunswick gets the rebound. Four or five guys had a chance of it. Nobody at it. Nobody comes down with it. Well, when they pulled Moreland, they got caught in a height mismatch on the boards. Underneath, wide open. Fingertip roll, number 34 with his first points of the game, Luca Mosley. Out of defensive position there underneath. Matthews, left side. Williams with the ball. Traveling violation on Williams. He slams the ball to the floor in yeah, frustration. Yep, yeah, he, he had a step on him, just got a little bit impatient. It would have been, he, was, he knows he's got to shoot the ball. Now, now Kentuckton's really in a bad spot. Timeout. Coach Woodward, we'll take a timeout ourselves and be right back after this break. Chiropractic Pilates, located on Water Street in Thurmont, serving the community since 1993. Center of Life is dedicated to treating the whole you, and not just your symptoms, back pain, neck pain, injury, or you just want to improve your mobility and feel healthier. Dr. John Hageman's innovative approach to whole body health is completely unlike anything you have experienced. With convenient hours from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and afternoon hours only on Tuesday from 3 to 7.30 p.m., Center of Life is there for you. Center of Life is closed on weekends and Thursdays. Center of Life accepts all major credit cards and uses the honor system so you pay what you can afford. What an amazing difference they will make in you today. Center of Life, make an adjustment to your life today. Center of Life is a proud sponsor of local high school sports. All right, we are back with you here live at Kentucky High School. And uh, the whole game on the line here, the Cougars now down by nine. 53 to 44 with 222 to go in the game. And Brunswick has the ball, so. That was a heck of a run for Brunswick in the second half. 18 to four, came out with the three by Bowie, then the steal off the press in a, by Bowie in a, in a bucket, six points right there. Took a 41-40 lead, never hadn't looked back. Chichmanic out front. He has it knocked away, stolen. Here come the Cougars, Roof with the ball. Roof, bounce pass to Williams. He, can, he tries to bounce it back to Roof, and right into the hands of the defense. Good recovery by Brunswick, knew what they were doing, went down to the block, picked the ball. Brunswick working the clock now. No sense of urgency to shoot. Bowie, baseline, pull up. Doesn't get the roll. Rook has the rebound, he's coming hard. And he has it stolen from behind, has his pocket picked. And Brunswick comes up with another turnover. Two possessions, two turnovers. You gotta pass that ball. Can't bring it up on your own. So Brunswick running a stall now. Down to nine seconds, they rifle underneath and a score. Right to Bowie as he cut underneath back door. And quickly, Katakin pulls the trigger the other way, and it's not even close. And one minute to go, an 11-point lead for Brunswick, and they have made a statement here tonight. Yeah, I agree with that, Mike, especially in the fourth quarter, 20 to four, 20 to four run in the fourth quarter, getting ready to hit another one here. In and out, Genos with a putback, gets stuffed by Root. The crowd liked that one. Yeah, 
Bowie lobs it inside to Hauk. Rue contests, knocks it away. Here comes Williams. He goes behind the back. Looking for help. He pivots. Three-pointer. It's off. Rebound Watkins. He puts it back in. He's fouled. So looks like Gavin will shoot two. One offensive bucket uh, for Kentucky this entire fourth quarter. The correct. Two, Robert, yeah. two free throws and Gavin two points, and then maybe they get two points here. Definitely coming down the last month. Got to find something to get four quarters of consistency. And they, that's happened to them a couple games and losing games by, by one one or two possessions. That's That's got to some, – some, there's got to be an answer somewhere. So Gavin misses them both, but Rook gets the put back and he's fouled. So Robert will shoot two. I don't even know why Brunswick is contesting. Why don't they just let him shoot so they can take it down and stall the game away? I mean, I wouldn't be fouling down here. Rook misses well, them. Well, maybe you foul it. We haven't, they haven't made it. So it's 0 for 3. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> Ten team fouls. They're in double bonus now. Root got it. Twenty seconds on the clock. And they run the stall. And this one's over. Crowd starts to clap. Both players start to walk towards their benches. 10 seconds on the clock. High fives around. And they let it run out. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. This one's in the books. The Railroaders win it by 10 this time. 55 to 45 here at Catoctin High School. We'll take a quick break and be back for our post-game wrap-up after this message from our sponsors. At Thurmont Country Kitchen, one recent diner summed it up perfectly. This place is so good, the words are hard to find. It's a wonderful small town diner with awesome food and great service. Thurmont Country Kitchen is located on Water Street in downtown Thurmont. Open weekdays, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturdays, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sundays, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Remember when Grandma used to say, if you're looking for a great restaurant, follow the locals. And that's exactly what you'll find at Thurmont Country Kitchen. A wonderful mixture of out-of-town guests, travelers up and down Route 15, and the locals who love Country Kitchen's award-winning roasted chicken. Homemade cooking at its finest with lots of sweets and goodies at the counter to go. Country Kitchen is a great place for birthday parties, meetings, or just to take the family when you're out and about. Their huge menu has something for everybody, and their warm country home atmosphere and small-town charm will take you back to simpler times. Thermont Country Kitchen, satisfying and delicious. You'll feel right at home at Thermont Country Kitchen. Thermont Country Kitchen is a proud sponsor of local high school athletics on the radio. Jelco Plumbing and Backhoe Service LLC is conveniently located at 108 North Carroll Street in Thurmont with over 40 years of experience in the plumbing industry. Celebrating its 10th year serving our community, specializing in all phases of plumbing, including septic installation and repair. The favorite part of our job is meeting new people and knowing that we helped. Kelco Plumbing prides itself on a job well done with pricing that won't flood your budget. Burst pipes, water damage, clogged drains, replacement. <laughs> All right, we are back live. Congratulations to Brunswick. A big win here at Catoctin on the road. And, uh, hey, it was a very close game. We were tied at 24 at the half um, to come out in that second half. The Cougars looked they looked good. They had momentum. They had worked out a five-point lead. And then what happened? Came in in that, in, that third, in that fourth quarter. Bowie hits a big three from the corner. That mm -hmm. was his first one and only one he hit all night. Come out in a press after they made the bucket. Steal it right away and one. Bowie again hits the three-point play. They go up by one, 41 to 40. Don't look back. Kentuckton only gets five points in the fourth quarter. Brunswick 20. Three of those from the free throw line. 
Three of those were Robert yeah. from the free throw line. One off. One basket in off. the whole fourth quarter. By Moreland. That was it. That's it. Yep. Boy, you can't win that way, can You're you? You're not going to win many ball games like that, especially especially in high school basketball mm -hmm. or any basketball for that matter. All right. Coach, it's great to have you back in the booth with us. Hope to look forward to many, many more here. We've got an exciting season coming up, especially in Frederick County High School basketball. Uh, we got some good teams and girls and boys basketball we're looking forward to. Absolutely, Mike. Man, it was a pleasure, man, again, being back with you. I, I enjoyed it, and uh, I look forward to doing another one, man. It's always good to see you. All right, on behalf of the entire Cool Oldies 1450 team, I want to thank you for tuning in. We'll see you Friday night at Frederick. The Cadets host the Linganore Lancers, and that's going to be a big, big 3A West matchup you don't want to miss. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you Friday. Don't worry if you can make it to the game or miss the broadcast. All of our high school sports games are archived and available online at WTHUradio.com in our audio 